What's up everybody, Boone here. Today I want to show you how you can bring your photographs to life in Adobe Premiere Pro using keyframes. So let's take a look at how we can bring this Earthrise photo to life in four simple steps. So this is a photograph from NASA, this iconic Earthrise where we have the Apollo 8 mission was coming up over the moon and they saw the earth rise just this amazing photograph and let's say as opposed to just showing this photograph in a video I want to bring it to life with a little bit of an animation I want to have a zoomed in look at the moon and I want to slowly kind of tilt up to reveal the earth you know add a little bit of motion bring it to life so let me show you how we can do this now the first thing we want to do is we want to prepare our photograph in our sequence so I have this earth rise image over here and if we look at the info panel here our resolution is 2400 by 2400 pixels and we have a pixel aspect ratio of 1 which means the the pixels are essentially square so this is good because we want to make sure we have a high enough resolution that we can zoom in on the photograph and maintain our resolution maintain a sharp image and I'm working in an HD 1920 by 1080 sequence which means it's smaller than our photograph which is good because when I bring my photograph in, it's going to be larger than the sequence resolution. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab my photograph and I'm going to bring it down here into my sequence. And there we go. And right away, we're seeing a bit of a problem. So what's, what's happening here is our image is automatically fitting to the frame size. So we don't want it to do that. So to get rid of this, to make it its standard regular resolution in the, in the frame here, I'm going to right click or control click on my layer and look here it says scale to frame size I'm going to go ahead and deselect that and there we go now we have our image at full scale so next we want to add some keyframes to bring this thing to life so if you're new to Adobe Premiere Pro um, keyframing adds animation to the layers so to work with keyframing I need to open up my effect controls panel to see the properties of this particular layer so if you don't have your effect controls panel, you can't see it, simply go to window and then select effect controls. So what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at all my properties of this particular layer. I have the layer selected. You have to have the layer selected to look at the particular properties. And we're seeing a variety of different things here. Under motion, we have position scale, scale width, we have the rotation, the location of the anchor point. We have all these different, we have a few different buttons here. Now what I have here is these little stopwatch button next, buttons next to each property. These are the toggle animation buttons, and this is how you can create keyframes. Now, essentially, what, what we're doing, what I want to do here is, I, as I said before, I want to create like a tilt up animation. I want to start at have the moon in frame, and then I want to have a few seconds to where it tilts up to reveal the earth. So, to do that, I'm going to add two keyframes. I'm going to add a start keyframe for our first position, and then I'm going to add an end keyframe. To where our shot ends so let me show you how we can do that so first we want to position our layer for the beginning so right here in the position properties I'm seeing the X and Y properties X meaning horizontal and Y meaning vertical so I want to move my position vertically so I'm gonna grab this property here and as I begin to move it you can see our layer is moving vertically so I'm gonna position this at a beginning sh of our shot which will be right about here and then I'm going to add a keyframe by selecting the stopwatch button. And you can see now here in the panel, we have a keyframe. And if you can't see this, there's a little arrow button here that will let you show and hide, expand this area. So I have my keyframe. I'm going to grab this keyframe and bring it to the beginning of the timeline here, which is basically we're looking at the timeline here. And I can zoom in and zoom out. We're, we're looking at a, a little micro view of the timeline panel. So I have our beginning keyframe. For our next step, we want to add the end keyframe. So to do that, I'm going to move our Y position again. And you can see I can't perfectly see this, so I'm going to expand. So I can see my Y position. I'm going to grab this. And I want my end position to be right about here. And as I move that, it automatically creates a keyframe. So why does it cre create a keyframe? Because when I added my first keyframe, it's kind of setting that value to, to that time. And if I move it at all, it's going to change that value. So we want our kind of camera move slash animation to be three seconds. So I'm going to move my playhead to be roughly over the three second mark. And you can see over here, our keyframe is, our in keyframe is here. I'm going to grab that and move it right to the three second mark. 
So now let's take a look. Our animation should be good. And there we go. We have some movement there. Three seconds. We have the tilt up. But it's looking quite robotic and not very smooth. So to smooth this out, I can go over to the keyframes here and change the interpolation. So the interpolation is essentially how Premiere deals with the data or the information in between two keyframes. It's interpolating that data. And you can specify how you want it to interpolate that. So I'm going to right click or control click on my end keyframe. And you see here there's temporal interpolation and spatial interpolation. I want to adjust the temporal interpolation, which means time. So if you go down here, you can see there's ease in and ease out. This is essentially smoothing out that motion. So we want this to ease in to our last keyframe. And if you look here, our symbol changed, meaning the, temp uh, the interpolation changed. And I want to do the same thing with our beginning keyframe. I'm going to go to the first keyframe and go to temporal interpolation and do ease out because we're, 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 we're coming out of this keyframe. I don't want to ease in, I want to ease out. So I'm going to select ease out. You see the keyframe symbol changed here and now I'm going to go back and we're going to watch our animation and let's see how smooth it is. There we go, much smoother. Now let's say we want to add a quick scaling effect. We want it to scale up on, on this earth. And it's already at 100% scale, so we don't want to scale it up from 100%. So let's begin by adding, we want it to scale up to 100%. So to do that, we can add a keyframe by selecting the toggle animation button. Go back to our beginning keyframe here for position. And then let's grab the scale and change it to 90. And that's good, all good. We've changed our scale, but you're seeing there there's a big gap. We basically moved it we move the position. So we want to reposition this layer for its beginning keyframe. And to do this, I need to make sure that my playhead is over my position keyframe. Because if it's not, and I just adjust the position, it's going to add an additional keyframe, which I do not want to do. I just want to have the two keyframes. So I'm going to move this down, reposition it right there. And then I'm going to add some interpolation to our scaling keyframes. I'm going to add an ease out for the first keyframe. And I'm going to add an ease in for the second keyframe. And there we go. Our animation should be good to go. Let's take a look. And there we go. Beautiful. And that's how you can bring some photographs to life in Adobe Premiere Pro using keyframing. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'm working hard on future tutorials, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Or you can visit my website at boonlovesvideo.com to check out more content. If you have a tutorial request, just shoot me a message and I'll create something specifically for you. Alright, I'll see you next time.